Hi you guys, so I noticed that a lot of people over Facebook and LinkedIn are asking about Nuendo and about Cubase, how to uh, do things in Nuendo. Uh, people that ask, I've been working for uh, 10 years on Pro Tools and now I, want, I heard about Nuendo, I heard it has uh, all kinds of new features and new um, options of doing uh, new things so I decided to do, uh, do a quick and easy uh, series of a few videos to, um, to explain how to go easily from Pro Tools to Nuendo, how to do the same things that you are used to do in Pro Tools, how to do them in Nuendo or Cubase. When I say Nuendo, I just mean Nuendo or Cubase, uh, most of the features are the same. Okay, so if Cubase is the equivalent of Pro Tools in terms of the purpose of the DAW, uh, which means in Cubase and Pro Tools the, the purpose is to uh, create uh, music, so in Pro Tools Ultimate and in Uendo uh, the purpose is to do post production, so dialogue editing, sound design, mixing for video, etc. So let's first talk about the, the, the terms that we use, okay? In, in uh, Nuendo, we use the project, okay? So this is the project. And in Pro Tools, the project is a session. So a Pro Tools session and a Nuendo project. Uh, the second term is a clip. A clip in Pro Tools is a, an event in Nuendo, okay? So... Uh, the first thing you should notice is that it looks pretty much the same, okay? You have the left zone here uh, where you can add a uh, double click and add audio tracks. So when I double click on Pro Tools, I just have a stereo track. And if I double click here on Nuendo, if I want to open mono, stereo, uh, etc. But it's also on stereo, I just need to click add track here I will put my uh, events and here I will put my clips my audio clips okay so pretty much the same um, now the inserts in Pro Tools are here inside this zone just next to the uh, audio information in here it's a little different you won't find the inserts you need to go to the left zone here and you have slots to insert your plugins okay so if i want to insert a plugin i just i can insert it insert it and just move it around just like in pro tools now what's cool about nuendo is that you can just drag it out of the slot and uh, it's deleted here you actually need to go to no insert and delete it okay um now here you have the this is the inspector view okay you can go to audio you have the inputs and outputs so this is equivalent to this uh, place here okay inputs and uh, outputs you have here the volume and um, the panning. So the panning here is a little different, okay? The more you push to the left, the less you will hear the right channel and vice versa. You can change it also to stereo combined panner and then you can um, just decide how much of each channel left or right you want to hear. So I really prefer this panner uh, over that one because that one you, you need to go to here and do all kinds of things like that to you have like two channels for the same thing it's just I don't like it um, now you have the inserts which are equivalent to this you have the sends here okay and basically here uh, you actually you have tabs okay so tabs that can help you do uh, many things I won't go into a 
deep explanation about the tabs because you can just search it. I just want to uh, make a quick overview about how to understand Nuendo. Now, what's I what is important is to, when you go from Nuendo to Pro Tools or from Pro Tools to Nuendo, you need to understand that you are not necessarily going to find the same exact features that you have in one program uh, in, the ne in, the, in the other program. So you need to be open in your mind and understand that uh, these are two different programs and you really need to be uh, open-minded about it. So uh, let's continue. Here you can, you have the setup, you can decide what uh, you will see, uh, which tab will be visible. Let's say the fader, you don't care about the fader because you can just use that one, okay, it's the same thing, okay? So you just go, can go to setup and disable it. It's exactly like going to here and disable um, the IOs, for example. Here you have a plus icon, you can just choose insert a MIDI group. Groups are the auxiliary of Nuendo. Okay, um, in Nuendo, you don't ha you, you you have a special auxiliary, a special bus for FX's channel. Okay, so you open it. You can choose which uh, channel you will have. Okay, so for uh, which uh, insert you you want to have. For example, uh, let's just keep it the Valhalla uh, room reverb. Okay, so here you will open a bass channel. Okay, Shift Command uh, N. And you will choose a auxiliary input, okay? Stereo, and you can name it a reverb, right? And then here you will go to a Valhalla, okay? And then you have to open a bus and send it to to here uh, to make sure it's ru it's routed. Here it it works a little differently. You can open the sense and just directly route it to the Valhalla room. So you don't have to deal with all the buses and all the routing and, and everything. You just send it directly to uh, the FX channel, okay? And you can um, uh, activate it and change the uh, sends, the, the send level, okay? If you click here, you will have pre or post fader. Now, what's interesting about Nuendo and Cubase is that you have uh, the edit channel settings window. Okay, if you open it, you will have all that you you can find here in the zone, in the left zone, in the inspector. You can also find here uh, in this window. I really like to use this window because, first of all, you can see all the inserts and all the sends in the same place, okay? It's very flexible. So if you do, for example, if you insert an uh, REQ, you can uh, move it around the way you like and you can put it here and then it will be a post fader, okay? And you can also move the position of uh, the, the, the where the post fader uh, and pre fader uh, will be. So, for example, uh, this slot is post, now post fader. It means that uh, the signal first go through all the inserts here before the uh, green line. Then it goes to the equalizer, okay? And then it goes to the volume fader, okay? And then it goes to the post faders, okay? So if you need a lot of post faders that go after the equalizer and the uh, volume uh, fader, you can just move it to here, for example, and then you have all these slots. If you don't need this, you can just keep it here, okay? So pre-fader, post-fader. You have a channel strip uh, that is built in every uh, track you uh, you you open, okay? So here you have a gate, noise gate, you have a compressors, all kinds of compressors that you can use and change. You have the EQ, which is the same one as here, 
if I increase that, uh, this frequency, you can just see it here. You can also see it here, okay? Uh, you have all kinds of tools that I use sometimes, magneto, tape saturation, the ether, brick wall limiter, I use it a lot, maximizer, etc., etc. So all kinds of options here. You have a nice EQ with, you can really uh, go to a high uh, 48 uh, dB slop, okay, from both sides. Um, okay, so you can play with this. You have here the sends, okay, so pre-fader, post-fader, just like in this uh, part here. And here you have the volume fader, read, write, a monitor, panning, you can change the panner here, you can double click uh, this panner here, oh sorry, you can double click here and it will open an enlarge panner uh, window, okay, mute, solo, uh, this is the editing, uh, editing uh, window, uh, you can go here to the show output chain. So if, for example, you want to route this audio to a group, remember, group is auxiliary in Nuendo. So you just go to here, you route it, the output to the group one. The group one goes to the stereo out channel, which you can find here, okay? And you can watch all the output chain here. So first of all, you have uh, the group volume, and then you have the stereo out channel, okay? So usually when you want to go to back to zero in Pro Tools, you just press option and click, right? So here it will usually B command and click. So for example, I click command click and it goes back to zero. Here I click a uh, option click, it goes back to zero. Okay, so this is pretty much the same thing. You have the visibility tab inside the left zone here, visibility, and then it's exactly like this zone here. So uh, if you remove the uh, if you remove here the audio, you won't see it anymore. If you remove here the audio, you won't see it anymore. So pretty much the same thing. The last thing we will talk about in this video is how to uh, reach the different windows in Pro Tools when you click Command 1, for example, uh, Command 2, you have the session setup, Command 4, you have the automation panel, etc. So in Uendo, it's pretty similar. If you press uh, F2, you have the transport panel. The transport panel also is mounted here at the lower part of the window. Okay, you have everything you need here. And in addition, you have another panel that you can just drag to anywhere you like. Okay, the session setup, you just need to go to a uh, shift S and then you can, you have a project setup. Remember, a project is a session in Pro Tools. Um, you can just change everything you want. Okay, if you go to F3, you will go to the Mix Console. So, Mix Console in Pro Tools is Command Equal. F5 gives you the Media Bay. I won't go into a deep explanation about the Media Bay, but basically it's a place when you can just reach uh, all kinds of, of sounds and just uh, put them here inside your project. F6 is the automation panel, so equivalent to Command 4 in Pro Tools. So pretty much the same things here in Pro Tools Ultimate. You have the right automation to selection. It's like the punch here. I will elaborate on this in, an, in another video, but basically this is the way to go to the automation panel. You have a F7 gives you the direct offline processing, which is the equivalent to the audio suit in Pro Tools. I must say that you have pros and cons to the 
offline and audio suit uh, window in each door okay so I will also elaborate on this in another video you have the F8 that gives you uh, the video player here you'll have to do command 9 with video track open you press command 9 you have the window okay here it's F8 and that's about it that's pretty much the the overview of the things in the next video I'll talk uh, more about the tools all the tools that you have here and uh, how to reach for example shuffle sleep spot gre grid innuendo etc etc so that's it for now good luck